It is my pleasure to welcome you all to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of this Whitworth Hall for the graduation ceremony. First, I welcome our graduands who have worked very hard over the last few years and we are here to celebrate their achievements. But let me welcome also the families and friends of our graduands, because many of you have traveled long distances to be here. We thank you in particular for the help and support and encouragement that you have given to our graduands during their studies. You chose to make an investment in your future when you decided some time ago to follow a degree course at the University of Manchester. We recognize that investment, both financial and in other ways. And today is the beginning of its realization. Your achievement in completing your degree should not be underestimated. You and your families and friends should be justly proud of your accomplishment. The University of Manchester continues to benefit from being both new and old. Being new, established 2004, gives us the freedom to be innovative and creative. For example, we have, in the last six years, spent 400 million pounds on capital building programs around the campus. And many of you graduating today will have benefited in some way from the premises of the new School of Pharmacy. But being old, established in 1824, allows us also to benefit from the rich legacy of scholarly achievement, research performance, and educational excellence of our predecessors. We have a heritage of enterprise and innovation stretching back more than 180 years. And this combination of freedom and a great history is empowering. Building upon its rich history, Manchester is already one of the finest universities in the UK and in Europe. And we are now positioned to become one of the best in the world. How do we measure that? One such measure of research performance that is widely used is an index calculated by the Jiao Tong University in Shanghai. According to that index, Manchester has climbed from 73rd place to 41st in the world since its creation in 2004. No other institution has seen such a rapid advance in this table of research performance. The universities are not uh, about buildings or even about these sterile measures of performance. Universities are all about people. They are about the rich heritage of its people, its current staff, its current students, and of course its former students. You are about to join a family of 220,000 graduates living and working across the globe in more than 200 countries. So as a graduate from the University of Manchester, you certainly are joining a very distinguished hall of fame. Many of our former staff and former students have occupied positions of great distinction in science, business, politics, sport, the arts, and the professions. And although we are, of course, proud of them, it is not only the famous club which makes a university what it is. The motto accorded to us by our founders was Cognitio Sapientia Humanitas. You will find it in very small letters on the front cover of the program. It means knowledge, wisdom, and humanity. And these items are the indestructible currency of the university. Thomas Jefferson spoke of knowledge about 200 years ago. He said that knowledge is like a candle. Even as it lights a new candle, the strength of the original flame is not diminished. 
Thus, the knowledge and understanding imparted to you over these past years have not depleted the institution, but they have strengthened it. You graduates have contributed to the university. Each and every one of you, in your own way, has enriched this university. And today provides me, on behalf of the university, to thank you for your contribution. As for wisdom, Confucius said, wisdom begins in wonder. I hope that your time at this university has encouraged and empowered you to wonder about the world, whether it be the natural world around you or about the structures and institutions within the world. And what of humanity? The human race is facing unprecedented challenges, many of them thrown up by our own successes in discovery and technology. Homo sapiens is distinguished by its use of technology. But in its tens of thousands of years, there has not been such a threatening time. 50 or 60 years ago, we had to address head on man's creation of atomic weapons. That was the problem facing your predecessors. But now we have similarly huge questions. Is the world getting warmer and why? Should we be using more insecticides or planting genetically modified crops? Should nuclear power stations or wind farms keep our lights on? Who should access the readout of our personal genetic codes? Or more generally, how much should computers be allowed to invade our privacy? These are not questions only for scientists or professionals. They are questions for humanity. So how can you contribute? Well, I know that many of you at the university have taken the Manchester Leadership Program. It is designed to emphasize service and leadership. And I know that others of you have in your own way committed to lead rather than to follow in society. And it is through such leadership that you can make your greatest contribution to humanity. I would submit that the degree about to be conferred puts you in a privileged position and endows you with such responsibility. On behalf of the university, I congratulate all of you who are graduating here today on your academic achievement and I wish you every success in your future careers. Take care, take responsibility, stay in touch, and have a great day. Thank you. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Karina Cantrell. <laughs> Ching Chen. <laughs> Brian Fitzpatrick. Michael Gertz. <laughs> Alex David Glancy. <laughs> Lee Thomas Glassbrook. <laughs> Davina Halsall. Gavin Humphreys. <laughs> Zhao Li Lang.
to Jao Madwahani. Manal Mahibo. <laughs> Catherine Scott. <laughs> Gary Peter Sedgwick. <laughs> Natasha Susan Wind. And for the degree of Master of Philosophy of Pharmacy, Mohammed Atif Chowdhury. <laughs> and Shiwao Li. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science in Industrial Pharmaceutical Sciences, Porik Allard. James Michael Henton. <laughs> Graham John Lane. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science in Pharmaceutical Engineering Advanced Training, Anders Aras. <laughs> Richard Hurley. Amer O'Leary. <laughs> Gerard George Quigley. <laughs> and Michael Westall. <laughs> and for the Advanced Postgraduate Diploma in Clinical and Health Services Pharmacy, Alex Paul Davis. Gerda Lynn Garside. <laughs> Michael Peter Hodgkins. <laughs> Anil Hurry. <laughs> and for the degree of Masters of Pharmacy with Honours, Lindsay Abbott. Siti Nadia Abdramin. <laughs> Bucky Mary Adiola. <laughs> Sabrina Hamid. <laughs> Aftad Hamid. Aisha Hamid. <laughs> Mustafa Al Ambaki. <laughs> Helen Ruth Olcott. <laughs> Insaya Amin. Esther Edem Anda. <laughs> Lauren Rosemary Bailey. <laughs> Shakta Balakamal. <laughs> Daniel Barry. Gillian Beer. <laughs> Ian Richard Bennett. <laughs> Sean Elizabeth Blackshaw. <laughs> Laura Elizabeth Burley. <laughs> Kai Chan.
Karin Chan. Wai Ching Chan. Victoria Emma Chaplin. Amelia Cherard. Avril Cherry. Jessica Manwai Chu. Brian Chin Fa Chun Chen Lam. <laughs> Lindsay Clues. <laughs> James Eli Cookson. <laughs> Alicia Tuba Kulabi. Kiran Islam Dar. <laughs> Rina Kurtijai Datani. <laughs> Louise Noel Delaney. <laughs> Rory Donnelly. Michael Kevin Dooney. Samuel Joseph Clive Ferguson. Juan Jose Garcia Sanchez. Emma Gardner. Gillian Francis Green. Robert Michael Greenwood. Sean Louise Harris. Mardi Heshmati Rafsanjani. Anna Marie Horton. <laughs> Catherine Hoyle. <laughs> Sabahad Mumtaz Hussain. <laughs> Zabir Hussain. Ishmael. <laughs> Jennifer Jackner. <laughs> so Jung Jung. <laughs> Awinda Kaur Jass. <laughs> Jack Kong. Nyla Kassir. <laughs> Afzal Khan. <laughs> Mona Jafari Koshkaui. <laughs> Neil Shirish Kosta. Hui Lam Lau. <laughs> Guat Ling Lee. <laughs> Wing Yin Phoebe Lee. <laughs> Jason Elliot Lesnar. Kimberly Ann Lung. <laughs> Selena Gwen Yi Lee. <laughs> Ra
Ruth Lloyd. <laughs> Wen Hoi Lu. <laughs> Sarah Sikilata. <laughs> Siu Bun Ma. <laughs> Christy Malley. Laura Markham. <laughs> Catherine Louise Marsh. <laughs> Tariro Nayazdai Batanga. <laughs> Alu Wazun Adateo Madiri. Melissa Mejin. <laughs> June Ed Mia. <laughs> Tareem Mirza. <laughs> Dick Manahiro Mystery. <laughs> Kishan Mystery. Hannah Elizabeth Mitchell. <laughs> Hadil Mohammed. <laughs> Amir Bridget Montague. <laughs> Sinead Ann Murphy. Ban Nahab. <laughs> Benjamin Mark Nash. <laughs> Don Lan Hala and Jade Nuk Wenyi. <laughs> Jasmeet Singh Natai. On a hint on our Somahi Oman Analo. <laughs> Li Yang Ong. <laughs> Ching Shi <Shiwi>. Wei. <laughs> Ri Mosman. Karine Elizabeth Page. <laughs> Christopher Luke Paget. <laughs> Tom Colfreyman. <laughs> Yin Yang Pang. Kunit Kamar Kamar. <laughs> Selena Parvez. <laughs> Dharmesh Kamar Patel. <laughs> Jessica Patel. <laughs> Mohammed Sadiq Patel. Priti Patel. <laughs> Nikita Ponda. <laughs> Tiffany Paspita. <laughs> Jocelyn E. Pizzillo. Fiza Rabia. <laughs> Aman Rafiq.
Merlin Flor Rajan. Dharmesh Rajput. And Rita Rayat. Priya Rupparal. Han Ling Siki. Jatinda Kaur Sambi. Aisha Sala. Essa Ladi Madhapuri Sunny. Raheem Sawa. Rebecca Jane Sedgwick. Edmund Ju Sheng Si. <laughs> Naya Shah. <laughs> Ling Ying Shun. <laughs> Ajal Singh. Claire Shlimpa. <laughs> Saradzai Sungai Tarira. <laughs> Rebecca Sarah Teasdale. <laughs> Stephanie Marie Thompson. <laughs> Yasmin Elizabeth Thompson. <laughs> Nancy Nam C. Say. <laughs> Rebecca Jane Wall. <laughs> Annika Wing Yi Wang. Richard Christopher Wilson. <laughs> Chiuk Yan Wong. <laughs> Kayan Sarah Wong. <laughs> Kenny Kai Yin Wong. Seo Men Wong. <laughs> Natalie Intershadet Woodhouse. <laughs> Elisa Yasti. <laughs> Yip Jui Yo. Huey Hung Young. <laughs> Sin Ho Yip. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Pharmaceutical Sciences with Honours, Sarah Banyo. <laughs> Faye Rachel Biggin. Pharmaceutical Sciences, Maida Nazir. <laughs> Hiba Omar. <laughs> Pamela Quinn. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Cognitive Neuroscience and Psychology, Sina Ne Ze Lo Cho Di Wa Mant Karma.
to say? Now we come to the pleasurable bit. We have a number of prizes for our students for their excellent performance in these examinations. The University of Manchester provides prizes for outstanding academic achievement in the university. Uh, the schools get one candidate each usually, and then we compete for another one. And it's really nice to say the pharmacy actually got two this time. Uh, the first candidate, uh, unfortunately, cannot be here, but I think you would acknowledge uh, it's been an outstanding student, Fatima Gari. The second candidate uh, is Gua Ling Li. The Royal Pharmaceutical Society also uh, awards a prize to uh, outstanding achievement. And uh, this year we award the prize to Rebecca Wall. I have to embarrass Rebecca a little bit more. Uh, Rebecca is also the recipient of another prize. Uh, we have a prize in honour of um, Peter Gilbert, who was Professor of Microbiology at um, our university two years ago. He unfortunately passed away. And we have a prize uh, in his honour, which is given to the student whose overall achievement in microbiology. And Rebecca does both. <laughs> Uh, the university has a special arrangement with AstraZeneca, which is our local pharmaceutical industry. And the AstraZeneca uh, each year award a prize to the best student, essentially in pharmaceutics, but it goes to the student who achieves uh, the best outcome in what's called novel drug delivery. And this year that was Reem Osman. We also have a prize in pharmacology, which basically honors the name of uh, John Rees. John Rees was a uh, lecturer in pharmacology, much loved by the students, passed away several years ago now. And so a prize was endowed in his name, and it's for the student who basically does best in pharmacology uh, in the final year. And this year, that is Avril Cherry. Some of you may know that at the University of Manchester there's a convention for health professional students, that is pharmacists, doctors, medics that is, dentists and nurses, that following graduation they take a professional oath. And so I'd be grateful if the M Farm graduates would stand to take their professional oath. I will read a series of statements at which at the end you state, I so affirm. 
I affirm that I will make the care of my patients my first concern. Treat every patient politely and considerately. Respect patients' dignity and privacy. Listen to patients and respect their views. Give patients information in a way in which they can understand. Respect the right of patients to be fully involved in decisions about their care. Keep my professional knowledge and skills up to date. Recognise the limits of my professional competence. Be honest and trustworthy. Respect and protect confidential information. Make sure my personal beliefs do not prejudice my patient's care. Act quickly to protect my patients from risk if I have good reason to believe that I or a colleague may not be fit to practice. Avoid abuse of my position as a pharmacist. Work with colleagues in a way that best serve patients' interests. In all these matters, I will not discriminate unfairly against my patients or colleagues. I will always be prepared to justify my actions to them. I so affirm. Thank you. Finally, on behalf of the graduation team at the university, I've been asked to say thank you to Catherine Garrido, who has acted as register at this ceremony. It is Catherine's last graduation ceremony today after 17 years at the university. All the team want to thank her for her help and support and wish her the best for the future. So today we have celebrated the award of your degrees and on behalf of the University of Manchester our very best wishes for the future and congratulations to you. I now declare this ceremony closed. <laughs>